Hey, I'm Monica Neubauer. And I'm Misty Woodford. And we're realtors in Williamson County, and we care about the upcoming commission election in Williamson County. So we're going to tell you a little bit about what's going on and encourage you to research your candidates and get out and vote. Because you know, your vote in the county makes a huge difference. There's never enough people voting. So I'm going to ask Misty a few questions. She and I kind of researched this, so let's uh, get you some scoop. All right, Misty, what are some of your concerns in the upcoming commissioner election? What they're going to do for continued growth in our county and how they're going to fix our budget problem. You may not know, but Williamson County is over $550 million in debt because of our growing schools. And our schools are central to the value of our county. Correct. Many sources will state that the quality of our schools is what is driving our economy to be one of the fastest growing, not only in the state of Tennessee, but in the country. Yes, and so we have got to get our budget under control because our schools need to stay strong. And don't we want our schools to stay strong? Yes, schools don't only drive the economy and the housing industry, but the future development of those who will be supporting us when we no longer are supporting ourselves. Oh yeah, there's that. Okay, <laughs> so now you may or may not know that we recently voted in a city sales tax increase that's going to help fund some of that debt relief, but in three years it goes away from the county budget and away from the school budget. So what are some of the options, Misty, for the county commissioners with this future debt concerns and growth concerns? One thing you'll hear most of the commissioners saying that they are running on a no tax increase platform. Unfortunately, that's not super realistic. Impact fees of $10,000 per new construction house or even some of your remodel projects aren't going to fund a $550 million debt, let alone the new building that's going to be required for additional schools. Another thing that you'll often hear about is selling our local hospital. Unfortunately, I'm not experienced enough to know the reality of that, but I do know just the sales price alone is not enough to cover the funds that we're needing to increase. And then you have other Again, these three-year sales tax plans that we've done, other impact fees for relocating businesses, or we're going to have to seriously address an overall property tax increase. So we're not completely opposed to these alternative ideas. Some of them are still good, but we don't think that that's enough money. And so we want you to challenge your commissioners to say, how are you going to deal with the debt in the future of the schools? And we're not even talking about whatever the county's involvement is in the roads, which a lot of that's not really county money, so we're not as concerned with that there. We are concerned about the school budget, though, because the county commissioners, not only are they the ones responsible for funding it, they're the ones who are responsible for agreeing to it. So the debt is actually their fault, and they're not providing the solutions to deal with the debt, right? Absolutely. Okay, feel free to share this because you know what I saw this morning? I looked on the county commissioner, the uh, Williamson County election site, and every single area has more than two running. That means there's several candidates in all of your areas. Get in touch, research them, look at the pieces that come in the mail, see what they're about and ask them good questions so that you can understand what you're voting for, who you're voting for, and please get out and vote. Early voting starts the 11th is the 11th through the 26th of this month, April, and the, um, then the election day is May 1st. Anything to add? Only 2% of you are voting according to Williamson County historical records, so get out and be part of the change. Yes, thanks.